so tall. What? You're so tall, I was just like oh. down here. Hi. Hi. Um, last time I had to make cards, it was all like, you know, that gym. Oh. Make cards when we pass stuff, but I'll just point it out since this gym's just wide open. Over there. These are Atlas stones for strongmen, and people can go over there. There's a lot of strongmen that train out of this gym. Uh, Atlas stones, and some different in here. And there's monolith, this, this is the spot right here. All over there, crew hand developer, bench presses right here, deadlift platforms, there's a whole bunch. Uh, people do weightlifting here as well. So like snatch clean jerks, squat racks. And then the owner of the gym actually is the, uh, you guys have probably seen the meme, the dial guy. Do you even lift? It's a meme that's been out since like 2010, I think, but that's who the owner of the gym is, his name's Steve. And uh, in the, uh, over there, there's like pictures of everyone who's come to train here. WWE superstars come here all the time, different people in Philly. They'll sign autographs. Like Do you like this gym? Yeah, I like it. It's like, yeah, yeah. The only thing I don't like is the lighting. That's my my least favorite part. Not commercial, right? Yeah. Right. Like right. You don't have to share. There's like the big Korean guys walking around. Just doing a little voiceover over this clip that's playing to uh, sort of discuss some of the things that we're doing and just get some more information in the, this video since it's sort of lacking in like uh, discussion during the actual training session. But um, me, Mike, and Charlie actually have linked our entire schedules up as far as what we're training per day of the week and things of that nature. So all three of us start this day with hack squats. And this, for the most part, is just to help with, uh, during my prep especially, and Mike's uh, cutting phase currently, it reduces the amount of axial loading exercises that we're sort of doing. The hack squat prevents, you know, from extreme axial loading like in a barbell back squat. And also, it's going to, uh, be before that exercise to limit the load that is being used while still targeting um, the same musculature. So that is why hacks are first here. So you'll notice that Mike went first. Um, I go after Mike and then Charlie. We all sort of just switch in that way. I believe that they had four sets. I had three sets here today. Um, this is my heavier quad in this session training uh, legs three times a week currently. Um, two of those days are more quad focused with some uh, auxiliary type hamstring. And then one of those days is hamstring focused with like good mornings, things of that nature first. My hamstrings actually have a lower MRV, which is why this makes a lot of sense. But I had three sets, they had four sets I believe. My second exercise was Smith Machine Squats where I had four sets. So. Here at a 987 being about three reps in reserve or the proximity to failure was three from failing. And that is how I actually am doing the entirety of uh, this week of training, which is the same week of the Bev's training that I did. Next up is Charlie, who was using, I believe, what was 620. Um, he is an 800 pound squatter in wraps, so this makes a lot of sense for the conversion. Hack squatting 620 for sets of, I think it was 10 to 15 here. But, yeah, it's insane to see this kind of shit in person from him and Mike. It couldn't ask for better training partners. We mostly just bullshit the whole entire time and make sure each other's technique uh, is right in check. But, yeah, so here he is doing his sets of hack squat. Before we all move on to our second exercises, I believe they both had some sort of squatting exercise. Mine was Smith Machine, uh, slow eccentric squats after this. 
and uh, they did cambered barb, they think. Of course, I had to get Zion in here doing her ass to the floor style squatting, which is very impressive to see in person. She gets very deep, but she's running a five day split to work around her uh, busy nursing schedule. She's adjusting from, she was doing seven to seven, now she's doing 10 to 10. But she uh, is doing a five day split, three times per week legs. Her final day of the week is a mixture of quad emphasis with uh, some smaller muscle group stuff set in, which I believe is like delts biceps, which is in four of her sessions. Things taken into account for this are her obviously gender and the uh, disruption she can cause with each muscle group, the size of the musculature, the SRA length uh, of that musculature of the damage being created.